Good morning guys. So Diana here from Garden Love. So today I'm outside in the back of my garden. I rarely do videos from back here. I don't know why. Maybe because it's not as close as easy to get to <laughs> like it is to my courtyard. My courtyard's right over there. But I do have a lot going on. I meant to do a video about how I set up my fall garden. I never put it out there. Uh, if you're interested in seeing that leave it in the comments down below if not I'm just gonna say never mind but I did overwinter a tomato plant I did um, put some seedlings into my raised beds and um, I did prep the soil to start growing some more stuff in here because um, if you guys remember last last season I had tomatoes that never produced fruit because I actually put them in too late and that's why I'm starting to grow seedlings this year this time around so I can be ready as soon as I can put them in I'm going to put them in and then um, I also had watermelon that didn't succeed so I have other plans for my watermelon and pumpkins this year so that's coming up pretty soon to share I'm gonna share that with you guys it's not gonna be back here it's gonna be in another um, area in my yard and I'm gonna try to make it look as nice as possible and also uh, I'll, I'll show you guys when I start doing it but uh, I have a lot of plans for this growing season so I'm very excited and um, this fall this fall garden actually did amazing I'm about to show you guys <laughs> I know I'm talking and not showing you guys I'll probably show you guys now so as you guys can see both beds are completely full and they are growing successfully i have some lettuces that i've been harvesting um some lettuces leaves so i can go ahead and make some salads look at all of this this type of lettuce this is about to start flowering as you guys can see it and um look at that i'm about to pull these out and probably cook them tonight this is a tomato that um, I overwinter so far. It looked pretty dead a couple weeks ago, and now that it's starting to warm up, it's starting to look a lot better. So that's great. And then I also put some seeds. As you can see, they are doing great. I'm about to start harvesting those pretty soon as well. And I put some cabbages. Not cabbages, I'm sorry. Some cauliflower and just a little bit of everything i also overwintered this chili my anaheim pepper i moved it over here because it used to be in this corner right here and i love the peppers from that plant i'm going to see how it starts to grow this growing season as a matter of fact i just noticed a baby baby flower so it overwintered pretty good i'm not sure how those flowers are going to do considering that we still have some more frost states coming up here but um, everything did great. Um, really impressed. I put some car garlic over the winter to see if, how those do. Considering how much rain we're, we've been having, I'm not sure if they're going to actually produce because we've had just so much rain. I'm afraid that it's going to get rot. The actual um, clove is going to rot out because of all the water. But I just wanted to show you guys this part of my garden because I haven't done many videos of my fall garden and everything's doing great. There's garlic like all spread out. This is my... These are some green glow artichoke. This one right here one of these plants is and then i got some pak cha i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but i have a couple of those and i'm about to start harvesting because as you can see they're really they're starting to tilt over which i, I want to say that's a sign that they're ready to get harvest and i can you can actually just harvest some of the leaves some of these and just start cooking them cook these which i might do that because I, this plant doesn't seem like it's liking the weight. See? Kind of feel like um, celery. So this is my first time growing this, but um, I'm really excited. <laughs> I think I have some over here. No. 
All right. So that was just a quick update on my fall garden, which I didn't do many videos on. <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, I did. It was a success. So I'm very proud about that. And I'm ready to start cooking with some of it. And pretty soon I'm going to be pulling everything out of here and doing my spring and summer garden and i'm looking forward to that i'll make sure to share that with you guys i uh, even did some containers with some some a salad bowl i guess you can call that i harvest some water <laughs> from the rain it's been raining like crazy so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this water for my plants inside because as you guys know rain water is the best water you can feed your plants anyways guys um there's a lot more to show but I don't want to make this video super long. If you guys see anything in my garden that you guys want to get more details about, I would love to just make a video for you, per your request. So let me know if there's anything um, you guys are interested in seeing. Alright guys, I go hope you guys have an amazing day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.